Wow, and here it is now, our brand new Amfa P20, the first fully portable and autonomous impedance flow cytometer dedicated for pollen analysis. Welcome to our audience. It is my great pleasure to welcome you today to reveal our new innovative pollen analyzer. Over the next 20 minutes, we will show you a little more about the fascinating technology behind it and explain why we have developed this new device in the first place. To provide you with more insights, I will speak to my colleagues from sales and marketing, research and development, software engineering, and our co-founder, Dr. Marco Di Berardino. Let's get started. Here with me now is Dr. Jörg Schrickel, our head of sales and marketing. Hi, Jörg. Hello, Zara. Can you explain us why this device was developed in the first place? Yes, it all started with our existing customers. A few years ago, we have introduced an innovative technology for pollen analysis and plant breeding and seed production. It was a completely new technology and a new instrument, the Ampha Z32. Together with our customers, we have developed new applications and new areas of use in the past years. Based on this experience and together with the feedback of our customers, it has then revealed three main areas of interest and for improvement. Portability, ease of use and easier data analysis. Let's have a closer look at what this means in detail. Jörg, you first mentioned portability. Yes, portability is quite important. Instead of bringing the pollen to the lab, you can bring the lab to the field now. This is important for two reasons. First, because it allows to measure pollen of crops with an extremely short pollen lifetime, like for example, wheat, rice and corn. It was nearly impossible for these crops so far. Our new Ampha P20 is a completely autonomous instrument and offers the possibility to measure pollen viability directly on site, on the field and in the greenhouse. Second reason, because it simplifies extremely a lot of processes. For example, think about the manual pollination of hybrid vegetables like tomato. You can measure the pollen viability in the greenhouse to determine the right point in time of pollen collection. That means you can select only that pollen of the right viability level and this without going to the lab. So our new instrument saves time, work, money and resources. It enables you to routinely control the pollen quality at each step of the pollen supply chain. You have mentioned ease of use. What does that mean in detail? Yes, the second requirement from our customers was to make the instrument more user-friendly. With the Ampha P20, we introduce a new way to operate the instrument. First of all, no laptop is required to operate the P20. It is a standalone instrument. We have built in a computer and also a touch screen. The program can be operated by few and easy commands. Within three clicks, you have started the measurement. Processes like cleaning and rinsing are automatically integrated as part of the measurement process. In addition, we have developed new intelligent microfluidic chips. The chip is crop specific and loads automatically the right setting of the crop you want to measure. With a tomato chip, you can only measure tomato pollen. We wanted to make it as easy and user-friendly as possible. Switch the instrument on, insert the chip, make your measurements ready. The third topic you have mentioned is automated data analysis. What does this mean in detail? I think this is the most important improvement and innovation. The data analysis is the most critical part of the measurement. So far, the user needed to be trained in data analysis and needed experience to place the gatings. After each measurement, you had to place or check the gating in your scatter plot. Especially when other populations than dead and viable cells are present, so for example, virus or aberrant cells, the user needs a lot of experience. With a new intelligent chip and based on hundreds of measurements of the same species, we were able to develop algorithms for an automated data analysis. The system now knows to which category the measured signal has to be classified. Now the data are evaluated automatically. Immediately after the end of the measurement, the result is displayed on the touch screen. This makes the whole measurement much faster and easy, and the instrument can be operated also by untrained users. 
Perfect. Thank you for this information, Jörg, and all those insights. Welcome. Now we know that the Amfa P20 is portable, easy to use, and provides automated data analysis. Let's have a look at how it performs in the field. So we're back from our little excursion to the fields and have seen how simple and straightforward the measurement with the Amfa P20 can be. But I can assure you, we have put a lot of effort into making this possible. Here with me now is Silvan, our application scientist and one of the brains behind the technology. Silvan, what was needed to make the measurements easier? Well, with the P20 system, we wanted to streamline the whole process. We wanted to make it simpler and more intuitive for the user. While the sample preparation was already fairly easy and straightforward, we found that especially the instrument configurations and the data analysis still had some room for improvement. And that's exactly what we addressed by creating an intelligent chip. So for each application, we developed one specific chip. So for example, a chip for tomato pollen analysis. This chip already contains uh, all the information needed to analyze such samples. And the only thing you have to do is basically you insert the chip into the instrument and it automatically loads the whole set of configurations. So the only thing you have to do is hit the start button and measure. It has never been easier. And so far we already developed chips for tomato, pepper, wheat and corn and many more are coming. Okay, and how about the automated data analysis? How did you enable this feature? The data analysis automation was one of the key parts of the whole development and one which will make the technology much more accessible. For the development of the feature, we have measured hundreds of samples of all the different crops and we carefully studied and examined the impedance signatures of the cells. And with this information, we then created an algorithm capable of correctly identifying and classifying different cell populations and all that in a very high throughput. So in the end, as a user, you don't have to do any manual gating anymore. The instrument now takes care of that and immediately provides the final results to you. This makes your work much more efficient and also removes the whole user bias. That's really impressive. Thank you very much for all those insights. So now we have seen the Amfa P20 in action. We have learned about its intelligent chip Let's look at the output now and how the internal computer generates the results. Here with me now is Luca, our senior software engineer. Hi, Luca. Hi, Sarah. You are responsible for the whole software development of the new instrument. What were your biggest challenges? I could say that uh, in, uh, in innovation, the big challenge is always to make uh, complex things possible and simple. And in, uh, in this case, our goal was to create a new instrument that's really easy to operate. We want every user to be able to measure in a few simple steps. Uh, first of all, it uh, has to place a tube with the sample and, ju and just tap a few times on the touch screen to select a session, like today, my pollen, or something like that, and uh, tap on the start button just to start uh, the operation. The nice thing is that all the configuration is automatically loaded by the new chip, the new smart chip, and applied automatically. At the end of the measurement, the results are displayed as uh, 
um, summary figures like uh, um, concentration, X cells per microliter, or uh, uh, viability, some percent. And that allows immediate decision making or routine quality measurements. So that's actually completely different to the typical scatter plots we know from the Alpha C32. Exactly, exactly, because the, the raw data, of course, are the same. The measurement technology is the same. But the difference is that uh, these uh, summary figures, these uh, values like concentration or viability, are computed and displayed immediately. And that allows immediate decision making or uh, uh, routine quality measurements. On the other hand, if you still need to do some in-depth analysis, you can uh, access uh, the raw cells data and extract them from the instrument memory and process them afterwards using a, a standard interface like USB or Wi-Fi. Okay, perfect. Is a special software needed to perform such a detailed measurement? Of course, you need a laptop or a desktop computer and an Amphasoft to be installed to visualize and analyze the data. Okay, thank you very much, Luca. That really sounds like a huge step compared to how it all began 10 years ago. Last but certainly not least, Dr. Marco Di Berardino. Marco, you're a co-founder of Amphasis, and we're standing here now with the Ampha P20, the first fully portable pollen analyzer. How does that make you feel? Sarah, for you, this might be the first fully portable instrument of Amphasis, but when I started 10 years ago, I already carried this one to the customers. So, to be frank, I'm really happy that our customers can now um, carry a much easier instrument with them instead of this heavy, weight um, instrument that is more than 30 kilograms compared to the seven kilograms of this device. That really sounds like a big improvement. So it's actually not only a milestone for Amphasis, but a milestone for the whole industry. Well, to be honest, um, the development of this instrument was quite challenging and it's for all of us a huge milestone. We started actually 10 years ago with the mission to revolutionize pollen quality analysis. And at that time, a systematic pollen analysis was not done, mainly because of the quite tedious and, I would say, rather unreliable traditional analysis methods. With the C32, we started to enable our customers in production research, as well as in plant breeding, to systematically do pollen analysis. With the P20, we are going one step ahead. We are bringing this technology directly into the production field. By standardizing and automating pollen analysis, we can now finally make routine pollen quality control possible. That's really impressive. Thank you so much for these insights and your personal story of the development. You're welcome, Sarah. Are you now as fascinated about the new Ampha P20 as we are? Do you want to know more about it? Then contact us now for a free online demo or a quote.